Is there part of you wishing they didn't pick him, given you know him so well and what he's capable of? Oh, I probably can work in my favour, too, but I know he's going so well. So, you know, in the end, like I said, I'm glad that, that he got picked, and you know, I'm, I'm really happy for him. But, uh, you know, he, in the end of, end of the day, you know, he's playing for the opposition, and you know, we've got to do our job with him. Greg, do you think you can sort of just work like you think about that sort of deal? We haven't really talked about, you know, strategies and that. Um, you know, it is our first day in camp, and... You know, in the end, we just got to um, you know, work a better way to walk away with the game through win. Greg, do you feel the New South Wales is in a bit of disarray just with all the distractions that are happening down there? Uh, I can't really speak for them, to be honest. You know, they, obviously, they've got issues and you know, they just got to sort it out for themselves and we just got to concentrate what we can do you know, north of the border and you know, it's really an up or down and hope we you know, walk away with the, with the win. Mate, there were similar issues to Connor. You guys went through injury and off-field stuff in Game 1. Is it, a, is it a distraction and did it and can uh, it? You can, it can be a distraction if you let it be. And, you know, what worked for us is that, you know, we dealt with it and already put it in the back of our mind and really concentrated on footy. And, you know, for for us, what really worked for us is that we um, we just, you know, didn't really protect Benny, but we, you know, got him around the group, around the boys, and got what he really knew best, and that's, you know, you know be around training and be around the boys. Do you think you've got enough for one game one? You were dropping 